So welcome to the 7th JavaScript tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to use a while loop and what a while loop does is it basically repeats something as many times as you want or even infinitely but I don't suggest that. So basically instead of writing out the same code 75,000 times we can just write it out once and say run this 75,000 times or run this until we've run out of text boxes on the page or something like that. So what we can do is I'm going to show you, we're just going to create a variable to start. And we're just going to call this uh, something. Actually no, let's call it something better, counter. And then we just uh, we'll set this to zero. Well that will already be set to zero but that doesn't matter. And then we're going to create an if statement. So if counter is less than nine, less than ten, and then we're going to do then console.log brackets semicolon then we're going to do um, less than 10 like that and then uh, we're not going to worry about else for now so right now this is only going to run once so if I run this in Chrome you see it's less than 10 so it's telling us that once so if I just bring that over here, um, if we want it to happen multiple times, instead of doing this like that a billion times, what we could do is we could just do we can change this to while. Now, oh, first you gotta spell it right. Secondly, do not run this because what we've created here is an infinite loop and if you only remember one thing infinite loops are bad they will crash your computer, blue screen your computer they'll do something that you don't want to happen to your computer basically your computer will run out of RAM and it will start freezing up because it will get slow because your CPU has got to do all these billions of processes so yeah I wouldn't create an infinite loop now this is quite dangerous if you think about it knowing that any site can just have an infinite loop in a JavaScript and they basically crashed your old computer and only the few powerful computers will be able to survive through it but not very well they'll be really slow so don't use an infinite loop what we need to do is keep track of how many times it's doing it we want it to happen just 10 times so what we can do is we can ch we can basically it's checking to see whether it's less than 10 yet but it never goes up this will always stay at zero so we need it so it will go it will do this so it will check whether it's less than 10 if it is it's gonna do this and then it's gonna put it up by one and then it will now be one it will check whether one is less than 10 do this then it'll be two and then it'll check if two is less than 10 and you get the idea it goes on and on and on so what we need to do is make sure the counter goes up so to do this we're gonna do counter plus plus and this is called an increment, this line right here. And an increment makes increment makes it just increment by one. It goes up by one. So if it's currently five, it'll go up to six. If it's currently six, it'll go to seven. So save this. Make sure you have this. Do not run it without it. So make sure you have that. Save it. And then we can run it. So it run. And then you see less than ten. And then you see it's also got this ten next to it. That's because it's done that ten times this 10 right here so to prove that to you we're just going to change this to document dot write save that run it refresh and you got less than 10 less than 10 less than 10 less than 10 and it goes on forever well it doesn't go on forever but you, get, you know so if we put a br there that will just organize it a bit better so that is how to use a while loop and also you learn how to use increments there. So again, no infinite loops. Uh, in the next tutorial we'll look at for loops probably or some other kind of loop. Um, so yeah, so thank you for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe if you found it useful. And I will see you in the next tutorial.